Hi, I'm Corey Redekop, Director of Policy with the Burnaby Board of Trade, and I'm joined by Flora Lowe, who is running in the by-election to join Burnaby City Council. Hi, Flora. Hi, Corey. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Good, good. Thanks for being here. Um, as the Chamber of Commerce for Burnaby, we're very keen in, in uh, supporting a, a prosperous and strong business community and a community at large. Uh, so when, there, when there's an election going on, we have uh, two vacant seats on City Council. Um, we wanted to create a platform for our members and for the community to come and hear about uh, who's running, the candidates themselves, and uh, what their priorities and protects, per perspectives were on a few top issues. So uh, why don't we get started with that? Uh, Flora, did you want to share a little bit about why you're running, uh, your background and experience, and, and um, just share a little bit about yourself? Yes, for sure. So I'm Flora Lowe, and uh, I've been living in Burnaby for 18 years now. I'm running for Burnaby City Council. Um, before settling in Burnaby, I worked as a lawyer in Hong Kong, and in Canada, I worked in legal compliance uh, and management for listed companies. Um, so I believe my training in uh, law, mediation, and arbitration uh, would help me understand the importance of perspectives, uh, compassion, and collaboration in finding good solutions so I would like to use these skills and my commitment to bring your ideas and your concerns to the Burnaby City Council so that we can um, work together to find good solutions and um, to keep Burnaby prosperous and uh, well won and um, livable in the future. Great, so that you. all the parties are uh, um, interested uh, being uh, looked after. Okay, great. Thanks for that. Um, I do have a couple of questions to help get a sense of your um, your thoughts on some of the priority areas for our, our members, for the Board of Trade, and for the business community. Um, so maybe I'll, I'll dive in with what's, what's always top of mind. Everyone likes talking about transportation and traffic. Um, yes. We, the city is undergoing a, a redo of its transportation plan, which is something that you would be voting on uh, on council when it comes for approval. As a Board of Trade, we have our own 22 recommendations to improve transit, which is everything from uh, connecting the north and the south parts of the city better, uh, to protecting parking hubs and business districts to allow kind of one-stop shopping, uh, to making transit more user-friendly, safe, and clean. For, for you and, and what you bring to Council, what would be your priorities uh, or your, your uh, number, number one issues when it comes to transportation and traffic in the city? Uh, when it comes to transportation, uh, Burnaby is a central hub in the Lower Mainland. So I think uh, all the recommendations by the Board of Trade is uh, very um, good. But I'd like to add that um, inside Burnaby itself, um, I, I, I really uh, think the climate plan um, also uh, is supporting the building of um, uh, the um, alternate weight to get around uh, like the bike link system and uh, uh, encourage the use of uh, electronic vehicles. Um, so increase the building of charging stations and um, all these are, uh, to me, I think uh, not just sub supporting our goal uh, on the climate plan, but it's very important. Um, we are decentralized and then uh, it, with that infrastructure in place with more bike lanes, more EV, because Burnaby's um, emissions, you, um, a, a big part is from um, transportation, 50% or more. So I think with uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, plan in place, it's going to be uh, very um, cost effective. In, in controlling and um, maintaining uh, the traffic efficiency in the city. Okay, thanks, thanks for that. Uh, moving from, from transportation to, to planning, and, and that's kind of a, a big part of what a, the city council is responsible for is, is long-term planning and zoning about how the city grows. I'm curious as to what your thoughts are on how the city has developed. Over um, the last year, even despite the pandemic, we had record-breaking or near record-breaking building permits. And our four town centers, Edmonds, Metrotown, Brentwood, Lowe continued to, to develop and grow as, as kind of hubs for the city. What are your thoughts for how the city should grow going forward? I'm all for growth and development, um, but we have to be careful in doing it in a caring and uh, sustainable manner. By caring, I'm, I think the city already 
had a, a plan in place. Uh, I really like the idea of assistant house, assistance housing. Um, so to protect the existing tenants' right to um, have a place to live after the new, uh, new buildings are built. So I, I'm all for that. And uh, I think it's important uh, to um, care for them. Um, so the most important issue here is, is uh, to going onward, make sure that we have the supply to meet the demand uh, for that. And uh, by sustainable, I mean uh, that when we have high density, high rise buildings, we are um, like the climate plan really is very uh, well thought out and it support all the initiatives. So uh, we will basically making sure that uh, it's not too dense, um, it's not like very congested, we, we can't drive anywhere. So um, that's what I meant by substan uh, sustainability. And uh, we also had to uh, protect the environment, our water and air. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pick up, you mentioned uh, 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 housing uh, in your response there. So how, obviously housing affordability is, is a big issue and having uh, different types of housing that people can afford to live in the city. One of the things that we propose is, is this idea of what we call gentle density, which is where we add, add, add some more density in other parts of the city outside of those four town centers so that we can maybe get some more housing forms that we're missing, like townhomes, for example, which we don't have a lot of in, in Burnaby, and which might be a little bit bigger for growing families, but maybe more affordable. Do you have any thoughts on what we should do in the city to make sure that there's affordable housing options for everybody? I think that's a good idea and which are uh, definitely warrant more exploration. I think uh, this, like, some of the uh, zoning plans uh, in the city is like, um, it's like a breathing document, it's involving. So uh, I think with more public consultation and uh, we need to hear what um, our residents want and then um, have more discussion hear what they say and then see what we can do and uh, plan the, do the urban planning uh, in, in response to that so that um, we can maybe use the land more effectively. For example, actually that uh, comes to mind, uh, I, I really like to um, go walk along the river. I saw in Vancouver, for example, along the river districts, they have uh, all these uh, residential um, buildings there and uh, I like to look at the water, I'm sure a lot of people do. And that area right now is zoning, uh, I think it's comprehensive land use. So I'm not sure how, but maybe um, we can explore if um, we want to sometimes uh, like put, um, kind of rearrange some kind of uh, rest, uh, land use uh, in that respect so that maybe we can build some residential housing there, and then move the district a little here and there. So it's all about hearing what you want, hearing uh, what people uh, want to see, and then see how we can bring the idea to the city council and discuss about it, uh, discuss so that we can discuss and uh, work together to find the best optimum way for Burnaby to grow. Okay, thank you. Um, you mentioned a, a couple of times in your comments around the city's climate plan. Um, and that you thought, uh, and and what your thoughts on, on, were on that. Is there anything more that you'd like to see the city do, or or how much of a role do you think the city has uh, to play in in combating and mitigating the impacts of climate change? Uh, climate change is a um, a big uh, issue for our century. Before we reach the point of no return, so. I am very impressed with Burnaby's climate plan. It's a very good climate leadership. Going onward, I think what um, we need to, um, like all, all uh, residents in Burnaby and uh, we, we need to get all the expertise we can with uh, different fields of, um, all the different fields uh, to find solutions for that. and. With the climate plan, it lay out a very fundamental and strong uh, groundwork. So I think going onward, the important thing is to measure it. How are we going to measure and, and, and monitor the progress and um, also modify it with new technologies? Um, the, as I think R&D is very important in finding new technologies to solve our, our big problem here. 
so yeah, I think it's the implementation and the um, progress man monitoring is important. Um, yeah, and the t I think the city is taking a great lead and they are like, the, like I said, Burnaby, uh, from what I understand, 50% is from transportation. So they are e electrifying their uh, city vehicles and another big part, 45% is from building. Maybe the number is a little bit, a little bit off, but that's the, the main picture. So I can see that um, they are uh, trying to um, use more and more low admission, low carbon admission building materials. So I think it's very good. And they are, um, one of the important thing they also are mentioning there is to um, update uh, the old policies or old legislation to support that goal. Yes, definitely. Okay, thanks, thanks for your comments on that. I, I wanna, in the time we have left, I'm gonna try to squeeze in another question here around um, crime. Uh, this is an issue that has been raised by our members a little bit more uh, in, the, in recent months, and not just the high profile shootings that have been going around the region, which are, are disturbing, uh, but property crime and break and enters that are a real grind to business. If you can imagine a business owner coming, up, coming in the morning and the delivery truck's been broken into or something's been stolen from the work yard, uh, that would be a, a real hardship for, for the business. Do you have any comments on um, what, if anything, could be done at the city level to support businesses facing these types of property crime or break and enters and, and, and or any thoughts on crime in general? Well, for crime in general, I would like to thank uh, our IOC MP. They've been doing a tremendous job. Um, it is, uh, I'm also aware of the uh, increase in gang related activities in the lower mainland recently. And also the um, police transferring um, program from the city of Surrey, I think it's creating a lot of concern um, for our community here. And I want to um, bring their concern. I think it's very important. It's a public safety issue. And uh, we need to make sure Burnaby has sufficient policing resources. This is a, 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 a city security issue. It's very important. So I wanted to um, like raise all the awareness and get all the support and unite all funds. Um, discuss it in the city council, um, collaborate with uh, governments in, at different levels, uh, the provincial, federal, and get this, uh, um, this uh, problem uh, solved as much as best we can and as fast as we can because, um, yeah, we need to make sure we have uh, sufficient policing resources in Burnaby. Okay, great. Uh, Flora, thank you so much for taking the time to, to join us today and to share your thoughts on, on these issues and in general, but why you're running for council. Um, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much, Corey. It's been a pleasure here too. And I also want to um, acknowledge that we are gathered, uh, live and play on the indigenous territory of the coast uh, Salish people. And thank you for that.